Okay, so today's going to be a little bit of a maintenance day. I don't think I'm going to get into anything too serious. But primarily I want to take care of this ash. Uh, this is the whole winter's worth of ash. I haven't had to move any yet. Uh, and you can see it's almost to the spout there. So that's getting a little bit uh, out of the comfort zone before it would uh, get back in there. So I just wanted to make sure this area wasn't... I have wanted to do this a few days ago. But this ground has always been pretty muddy here. Uh, but today I got up early enough. It's Sunday morning and it's frozen. So before church starts we'll uh, get take, get this taken care of. But yeah, everything's frozen so I won't get stuck in any mud. This ash everyone talks about, I haven't tried it, but apparently you can put it in the garden or your flower garden or something like that. And uh, it's really good for your soil, so maybe I'll try it. Um, I just keep my keep my ash in a big pile. Uh, I haven't really done anything with it. Every now and then I fill holes or whatnot. Got the tractor over here ready to go. Um, so yeah, today I'm just gonna clean her up. So this property has been burning outdoor boilers for as long as I know, but uh, let's say 15 years worth. This is just dirt, that's not the same, but this section right here, this is the collection of uh, coal dust and, or sorry, coal, uh, ash and the stuff I've been burning, sunflowers and rye and all that kind of stuff. So really it's not that bad. I mean, yeah, one day, 20 years in the future, there might be a pretty big pile that will have to get hauled off or whatever, but it's not so bad. This is, uh, this is a lot of years of collection. Everything I'm collecting today is pretty much the whole winter's worth of, uh, of ash. This winter was a little bit warmer than we're used to. We did have a few weeks of minus 40 and minus 45, so it's not like it didn't work. The, that boiler certainly put in time, but... Uh, yeah, I just collect the ash here, and yeah, I'm gonna try to try and scoop some out of here and put some in some flower gardens. Have to do some research before I put it in any gardens where uh, where we're gonna eat out of, I suppose. There's some ergot in this rye, that's why it was free. So uh, that I understand can be poisoned, but maybe it's burned off. I don't really know. If you guys know, let me know. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of a, what some of the small maintenance stuff looks like today as well. The boiler's running right now. Let's see what it's doing. 166 degrees, so it just started. It's got to go up to 170. There's the fire. It's blowing away. What do we got in here? Nothing. Okay, so I'll just do uh a little bit of maintenance here. Just turn the boiler off just for a few minutes. I'm gonna close this door or else it's gonna get smoky because the fan's off. Okay. So the regular maintenance is just to open up this heat exchanger and give everything a quick clean. It doesn't take very long. I'm going to start with just vacuuming out the ash that's there. I use this ash auger for a vacuum. And I'm also going to change my gloves. <coughs> Those turbulator tubes can be pretty hot, so I've been using these welding gloves for boiler work for years. You can tell they're not exactly in good shape, but uh, they do the job. 
So these tubes, sometimes they're a little hard to get out, sometimes they're easy. I think they expand and contract a little bit. But you pull these tubes out, I just bang them on the ground a little bit. And then I push them back and forth in here. And that's about it. Now this one doesn't want to go further in, so I would just kind of spin it in. It's not a big deal. And then that tube is essentially clean. Now this process, I do about every two days or maybe every three days in the cold, cold, minus 45 winter. Um, maybe once a week or so the rest of the time. I'm likely to leave this boiler running 100% of the time. Maybe I'll heat a pool or something. My domestic hot water. I just don't like the idea of the boiler getting cold. Uh, that's where boilers start to rot and stuff. So if you keep it hot all the time, there's gonna be it's gonna last you a lot longer. But I'll clean the rest of these tubes. So I'll just quickly go over this, I guess. What happens is the boiler has a, uh, will turn on and the air comes out of the boiler box, comes through these bottom two holes, or sets of holes, these bottom two. It'll hit this wall here and then go back this way. And this whole area has got water in it. And these tubulators just make the air go through there a little slowly, distribute the heat back into the water. So the flue gas is supposed to be really cool. I haven't put a thermometer in my flu yet. I'd like to. I just never get around to it. But uh, this first winter with this boiler is about over and it's been working well. I'm happy with this thing. So. <laughs> One last spot of maintenance. There's a hole right here for an access panel. Some ash, a little, little, little bit of ash sits in there, but nothing serious. But clean it out while you're vacuuming anyway. <laughs> So 
So that's about it. You do that every couple days. And I'll do the more in-depth stuff some other time. I don't do it very often, like I said, but we'll get into that. Turn the boiler back on, probably lost a few degrees. Uh, well, I'll just quickly say... So this bin was completely full on December... No, sorry, on November 30th, I filled it. Uh, I think it's about a 1700 bushel bin if I'm not mistaken and I looked in it the other day and she's sitting at about a third empty so just above that bottom window there it's probably about a foot above there so I'll have to fill it soon I'll probably film that too from this bin this bin I have completely full but uh, it burned almost it's just burned so little this year it's crazy so it's burning right now also and you can take a look at the stack there there is not much going on. Hard to see smoke, if any. On the screen, you probably won't see any. But it uh, burns really nice and clean. It's burning right now because we lost a few degrees from uh, turning it off when I did the maintenance there. But yeah, now that uh, winter's almost done, this bin will probably last another, I don't know, month or two. It's been uh, a little bit of a dream. Okay, I guess that's a wrap.